Hello everyone. Uh, so in our last video, we focused a lot on uploading media and we looked a little bit at themes. Okay, so this video I want to focus mostly on building basic timeline aspects. And I say basic for a reason. I don't want to get overwhelmed and look at all the different things you can do once you build a video on timeline. I just want to talk about getting some images and some sound effects onto a timeline and then we'll kind of take it from there. The next video we'll look at all audio aspects. Okay, so we talked about some of these folders. Okay, so I have some, uh, a lot of clips in my Trenton Media folder. Okay, um, so these are video clips because they have a time sequence on them, and these are just simple uh, pictures. Okay, so the easy way to do this is they give you already a few video tracks. As I said before, you can always add more video tracks. And the question is, well, why would you want to do that? Well, maybe you want to organize it a certain way. Um, maybe you want to have one image or two images on the screen at the same time, or even three images on the screen at the same time. Now, I don't want to get into that. That's more of an advanced feature. Uh, but you could have three or four images on the screen doing different things at the same time. It's all a matter about building layers, okay? So here's an example of how to quickly start building some video aspects. You click on your uh, clip, and with your mouse, you drag that clip right onto the timeline. Okay, now there you go. So if this was your movie, it would be playing right now. Okay, we have that one clip on there. All right. Okay, now you could do some things with that one clip. Default is about five seconds, but maybe you want that clip to play a little bit longer. So you click on it, and once you click on that clip, it turns orange. And now, now you can drag it and make that clip be 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, 8 seconds, whatever you like. Okay, so you can kind of build that clip, and now you can kind of, you know, have that, you know, as long as you want, depending on what the audio or the narration might be for that particular part of your video, you might want that clip to play for a certain amount of time, okay? And then you would just keep on doing Now, this is where you talk about building a storyboard. You might already want to know how your images are going to appear in what order, okay? So having students create a storyboard, have their images already set up, in a certain order so they know where to go, like an outline is super useful. All right, so here I might go Trenton, 01, it's a newspaper clip. I have a little snippet from a uh, newspaper. Uh, maybe I'm gonna go back and maybe I'll adjust the time on that one too, okay? Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe I'll adjust that one, okay? Great, uh, maybe I wanna bring in this map. All right, okay. Uh, but you got the idea that I'm just building images in a row. And again, you can actually build images one on top of the other, <laughs> but I won't get into that too much yet. But maybe they, this one would appear over here, so it would still appear in a sequence, right? So I move my, I can move my timeline. This is like my little like uh, playhead. This is where it's going to be showing where in the video it's going to be playing. Um, I can move it back to the beginning, and I can just press play. So there's the one clip of the Washington's Crossing. Okay, now it's going to move into the next clip of the newspaper. Okay, then it's going to move into the next clip of the map. And then it's going to move into the next clip of this other scene. Of I think this is the capture of the Hessians. Okay, after the Battle of Trenton. All right, so that's basic idea. All right, how you would start building images on your screen. Now, maybe we had a clip of a video we wanted to put in here. And... Uh, you know, I put that clip in, and I would have put the clip in right there. It's actually a video clip. So now when you play your video, you have your stills here of the images that you put in, right? And now you are then going to now have a video be playing. So see how that's a video playing? Okay. And that's kind of neat too. So you can do some really fun things with that. All right, so that's kind of gets kind of nice. That's like a basic idea of how you build it. Now, certainly you want to build an audio because audio is essential. Your voice narration, and you want to build in maybe like some music, some sound effects, and that's really super helpful. Okay, now I'm going to do more of a preview of, of advanced features later on, but let me just show you a quick little preview of this. And this is a really great tool. So when you're on a particular image, you can click and you see these little three. Um, lines and that brings up some some uh, options you can delete this you want to get rid of it um, maybe you want to do some special effects and you hit you click on this it might put a blur it might put some kind of you know different effect on it okay or you can do 
let me click over here, all right, and this will fade it in and out, meaning that it will fade in and out for like three or maybe like three seconds fade in, and then we'll do a three second out, a three second out fade in, okay. So then now when you play it, see what's gonna happen? It kind of fades in gradually, then it fades out gradually. Okay, and that looks really nice. You can do that. And the other one I'm going to show you, we're going to do this more in the advanced class, is I can hit the editing. I could put a caption on the bottom of this if I really wanted to. I could change the size of the image, size of the caption. I can change the scale of the image. I could turn the image around. All right, so many things. I don't want to get too much into it, but the one I really love is starting. And this is like your um, animation. You're fading in and out. Me, you're panning. So I'm going to start it right here on George Washington. And then when the clip ends, I'm going to fade out. I'm going to actually going to make the clip a little smaller. All right, I'm going to do done editing. Now watch this. This is this is great. So when I play it, and maybe with the fading, it might not look as dramatic. Um, but see, it's kind of disappearing in the background as the image goes through. So that's just a simple thing. We're going to spend more time on that later when we get into the advanced class of effects, things that you can do with these. But there's your simple way of building a timeline of your images in a row. Okay. And we'll talk about transitions as well. We could put like transitions in between, in between these. And I'll talk about this more in the advanced class. This is the cross blur. And we'll do another maybe cross blur over here. So say we're on this image now, and I'll press play. And now it's going to sort of uh, blur into the next image. All right, so this, again, we'll spend more time on that later. Uh, but there's a simple way of building a timeline on WeVideo. All right, okay, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.